Hi, we're here in beautiful Punta Gorda, Florida, where it's currently 80 degrees. And today we're situated on the banks of the Marina Basin in the condo complex called Marina South Shore. We currently have two beautiful condos listed in this complex that we're gonna show you a little bit more of uh, later on in this video. But in the meantime, I'm here to talk to you about uh, real estate. As many of you know, um, the real estate market here is relatively localized. We see some idiosyncrasies in different neighborhoods that might influence uh, the actual statistics and information about what's going on. However, what we do see is that there are some broad influencers uh, of our market uh, that kind of uh, pertain to every segment of the market. Specifically, those are uh, consumer confidence and the strength of the national uh, real estate market, or what we know as our feeder markets, the markets where people are coming from. So nationally, um, the real estate markets across the country are generally pretty strong. Uh, we have had uh, very low interest rates continuing for quite some time and relatively strong employment markets. And so we've seen nice price appreciation across the country. However, at this time, a lot of the uh, national real estate experts are expecting that the price appreciation that we have been seeing throughout the country is probably going to slow down a little bit. Um, and they're expecting that it's going to go to more normal levels um, like we had seen years ago. Um, so for many years, we used to say to people that the anticipated appreciation would be 3%, 4%, in a good year, 5%. They're expecting that things are going to be going back to that level. Well, the same holds true for our market uh, here in Punta Gorda. We're expecting to see appreciation levels return uh, to what we had seen years ago. Um, but I think overall, uh, we've got a stable market, and so that's what's important. The baby boomers have been a pretty major force in this market over the past few years, and we continue to see a large concentration of the people that are coming here to look at real estate opportunities from this demographic uh, strata. Um, and what we've seen with baby boomers, are they're now in a position where they can be spending more time away from home um, and enjoying life. And so uh, along those lines, um, one of the trends that we're seeing is that they are um, potentially um, right-sizing their property up north and uh, making a move with an investment property here to split um, their time. Or what we've seen in a lot of cases is a lot of our clients currently have two homes up north, their primary residence, a weekend getaway, and they're looking for a place in Florida. And consequently, what they're doing is trying to consolidate those two northern properties and buy a place down here. And the boomers have been able to accomplish this uh, largely because they've been able to regain a lot of the equity in their properties up north and it makes it a little bit easier for them to come down here and make an investment here. And so with this uh, increased equity and uh, portfolio balances up a little higher again, this has really fueled confidence levels. And so uh, people have been uh, here uh, in the first couple of months of this year making great purchases in paradise. Um, and we're seeing that the sales levels this year are generally on par with what we've seen in January and February of 2018. So the market's going along great. However, <laughs> I'm still, as I mentioned last month, for those of you that watched, I'm still concerned about the growing inventory level, the amount of houses that we currently have for sale, because this continues to escalate here, not only in Charlotte County, but in the Burnt Store and Punta Gorda Isles, Burnt Store Isles Marketplace. In fact, um, the inventory that we're carrying is between 20 to 23% higher than it was at this time last year. And so it's basically going back to the basics of supply and demand where our supply, the inventory, now has increased significantly and the demand is pretty much on par with where we've had it in the past. 
Consequently, what I'm expecting to see is that we might have some moderate uh, price suppression moving forward, which kind of ties into what the experts are saying we're going to see nationally of appreciation settling in closer to 3%. Um, so it'll be interesting to watch to see what happens there um, with pricing and with our, our inventory level that we're carrying. Interestingly, with Allegiant Airlines uh, increasing their flights to Punta Gorda, uh, as many of you know, they've been um, exploring their Sunseeker Resort. And they had expected to build out a fair amount of condos as well as hotel rooms. But they may also be seeing a little bit of a slowdown uh, because they've now modified what I thought was a rather aggressive plan in their condo sales. And now they are going to be uh, focusing exclusively on building hotel rooms and not the uh, condos. Uh, another residential project in Punta Gorda uh, has recently been experiencing a slight slowdown in sales also. Um, and so we are seeing things kind of taper off uh, when typically at this time of year we would see a little bit more vibrant activity. We are expecting, however, that Lennar's new uh, housing project, Heritage Landings, which is expected to have its grand opening in the next week or two, may in fact be bringing more people to the area. Uh, Lennar historically does a fair amount of uh, national marketing and they're expected to be bringing people um, to the Burnt Store Corridor in the Punta Gorda area with the new houses that they're going to be releasing here any day now. If you happen to be fortunate enough to be here at this time of year, uh, there's some neat um, events going on this weekend and be sure to check out uh, the body of our newsletter to uh, see more about things that you might be able to uh, enjoy this upcoming weekend. But please stay tuned and do take a moment and take a look at the condos that I mentioned earlier that we have uh, listed for sale here. Um, these condos have the wonderful benefit of enjoying this great venue where we're sitting today at the point of uh, South Marina South Shore, uh, where you can watch the boats coming in and out of the main channel all the time. Also, they have several outdoor seating areas where you can just uh, enjoy spending time with your loved ones or uh, your neighbors or family and friends. This complex also boasts a fabulous clubhouse um, that uh, hosts not only a lot of social activities, but also regular card games, mahjong, etc. So be sure uh, to come in and check out Marina South Shore as well as all of the other properties that we have here in Southwest Florida. Have a great day.